All right, welcome to another session here where I'm going to sh uh, share uh, some sales and business tips. <coughs> so in this session, you know, the topic is um, best sales techniques to sell over the phone. So in this session, I'm going to share uh, a couple of my best sales techniques to sell over the phone and close more deals, okay? So I want to welcome everyone to our session, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, right into it, the first sales technique is to let the prospect feel like they are in control. So when you're selling over the phone, and this applies to uh, even when you're selling in person, okay, or in an online format on Zoom or, you know, another uh, uh, kind of platform, you always want to make sure the, pro the, the prospect feels like they're in control because the people, people in general, not just in sales, right, uh, but in everyday life as well, if they don't feel like they're in control and then, you know, they're going to feel like someone's pushing them in a direction that they don't want to go. And when you do that, uh, they become very uncomfortable. And it's very difficult to build rapport with somebody who feels uncomfortable and doesn't trust you. That's why you always need to make the prospect feel like in control. Um, now, in reality, uh, we all know that the professional salesperson is controlling the entire conversation and is controlling the entire sales cycle. And this is the ideal situation. The professional salesperson, if they're good, they need to make the prospect feel like they're in control, make the make the person feel like they have choices, and that's how you're going to be able to build more trust and rapport. So, how exactly are you supposed to make somebody feel like they're in control? Okay, the secret to this is to ask certain types of questions throughout the sales conversation. For example, when you start a conversation, you don't want to just go straight into the pitch. You want to set the right expectations. You want to set the agenda for the meeting. Then the prospect knows exactly what they can expect on their call. Because when someone knows what they can expect, they feel like they're in control. They feel like they're not going to be surprised by an immediate sales pitch. And when they agree to everything, um, you know, when they agree to everything that you ask, for example, um, so what I'd like to do is take uh, 10 minutes uh, to learn more about your business and see if we can work together in any way. And if we find that by the end of the call, there's a fit for us to work together, great. We can move on to the next step. But if we find maybe it's not the best fit, it's totally fine. And we can end the conversation right there uh, and we go our separate ways. Is that okay with you? So I'm asking the questions and I'm giving the expectations of what the person can expect on the call. Either it's a fit to work together um, and then, you know, we're getting to, if they're going to buy, uh, then great. Or um, if it's not going to be a fit or a good fit, then they can just walk away and no feelings are hurt. Everybody's totally fine. So they're going to have two options. Either they're going to buy or they're not going to buy and they feel comfortable with saying yes and they also feel comfortable with saying no. <clears throat> you, want to set, um, you want to set these expectations in the beginning. Uh, otherwise, people will not feel comfortable telling you no, right? No. The word no is, it's, you know, sometimes it's very hard to tell someone and it's very hard to hear because, you know, uh, when they say no, um, you know, they're actually rejecting you. And we don't want to hurt people's feelings, but... You know, maybe they're not really interested in, in our products and services, but because you never gave them the opportunity uh, to back out, they don't want to say anything and you just go through the entire sales process wasting time, right? In the end, they were never going to buy anyway, and, you know, at the very end, they're going to say no. So you might as well give them that option in the very beginning. And throughout the call, you're going, to want, you're going to want to ask these questions to check their temperature, you know, to kind of gauge them to see if, they're, you know, if there's any interest at all in what you're uh, offering to them. So 
if you were to pitch your product or service, you would say something like, um, uh, do you mind if I go ahead and share a little bit about what I do and how I might be able to help you? And, you know, when they agree, then, you know, then you, you, you earn the permission and you earn uh, the permission to pitch. It's very different from if you just kind of start pitching your products uh, and services and say, saying, this is what we do, this is how, how we help, this is how much it costs, and this is what everybody else is doing. It's too, <coughs> it's too much up front right away. You have to earn the permission to pitch. And you have to check, you know, you have to check their their temperature, all right, throughout the sales call to make sure that they're still interested throughout the call. And any time the prospect is not interested and they say, oh, no, I'm not interested, then you can say something like, okay, totally fine, I, I understand, got it. Uh, so it seems like this is probably not the best use of our time right now. So, do you, you know, should we continue talking or should we end the call? And then they, they might say, uh, sure, let's you know, end the call, or words to that effect. Or they might say something, oh, no, that's not what I meant. Uh, I kind of meant this, this, and this. And then you can kind of continue the conversation if they still want to continue. But if it's not a good fit, and you, know, you can end the call right there, you don't need to waste time on this cold, uninterested, or unqualified prospect. You just move on to the next one, someone who's warmer to your offer so now that you've got the prospect feeling comfortable they feel like they're in control okay you also want to make sure that throughout the entire sales cycle whether it's the first call the second call the presentation the negotiations you always want to make sure you understand you know the the prospects pain if there's no pain there's no sales okay so you got to ask um you you got to ask the right questions to understand what problems your prospect has and see if you can provide a product or a solution that will solve those problems. And you have to understand why is it that somebody would want to buy from you? What problems do they experience? Um, you have to have a general idea of what these problems are before you even get into the sales meeting, before you even cold call, before you send your cold emails, you have to understand the prospect's problems. <clears throat> so your solution is, I can make the problem go away. Ask questions like, how long has this been a problem? Have you tried anything to fix it yet? Why hasn't, you know, why hasn't uh, what you tried before, why, why hasn't it worked? Um, what would you like to do? In the perfect scenario, what would you want this to look like? And if you do it right, they'll start painting a picture of their pains and what they want. Now, the last tip I have for you when it comes to selling over the phone is to position your product or service as the solution to the pain. Once you uncover the pain, people are talking to you, they trust you, they hold you in confidence, um, you know, they'll tell you their, their deepest problems when it comes to their, their career uh, uh, and their business. And they're sharing with you what they want to happen if they were to engage with you, all right? You want to make sure that your product or service fits, fits the bill and fits their problems and can actually make their problems go away. Once you understand the problems, when you start, when you start talking about your product or, or service, you need to tailor and customize that pitch to specifically address those problems. And then we want them to say or have the feeling, that's exactly what I need, tell me more. You see, the sale is actually not that hard. You just need to identify the problem and see if your product or service uh, fixes the problem. If it fixes it and people can see it and you can clearly articulate that, uh, you know, that during the sales meeting is going to be a relatively, um, you know, a relatively easy or less painful conversation or sales conversation becomes it just makes sense. If you're the better choice compared to all the other options that they have, then it's easy to sell. Okay. Now, these are some of the most powerful phone sales strategies uh, that I use you know, every single day and you can use to really uncover your prospect's pain and move them uh, closer to closing a deal. 
Okay, so I want to thank you for uh, you know joining us on this session, uh, watching this uh, you know this uh, uh, video or this session, and I want to um, you know wish everybody to stay safe and blessings for all of us. All right, thank you.